Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Today we are going to take a grammar lesson and it's the present perfect tense. It's an easy tense, but before we start, I just want to give you those three main ideas that this tense is talking about to make it easy for you to understand it. The three things I want to tell you, it's a life experience, past to present, or a recent events happened that influenced the present. Let's describe it for you. For example, the first one, life experience lies, life experience like I've visited many countries in Europe. It's your own experience and you tell me you visited maybe for a long time, maybe recently. I just don't know. You just tell me this, your life experience, your information. So I've just visited many countries in Europe. It's a life experience. The next example is past to, pre to present, something you did in the past but affects the presence. Like my friend um, Lila, for example, she, had, she has a lot of hobbies. She played chess for more than 15 years. So she played chess in the past but still in the present she's super at it now because she played for 15 years. So that's past to present. And for the last one, a recent event that influenced the present, for example, what have you just studied? You just studied this just in a, the near past, but it affects your present now. So what just, what have you studied? Or have you understood the form of it? Have you understood what I said? So this something event happened now, but affects your present, the near present. So please, let's check the presentation together. And for the first slide, it Thebes Language School, Primary 4, present, pre, uh, sorry, present perfect tense. The first slide is the usage. So the usage, describe action, sorry, first one is describing an action happened at an unknown time in the past unknown time in the past please don't forget this i don't know when but it's in the past number two describe past actions that have an effect on the present yet what that's what i've just said for number three describe actions happened in the past and continuing happening in prison like for example i just explained for you the lesson and now I'm continuing on explain it, explaining it. The next slide, your keyword and the keywords here are the most important part in this tense. You must focus well. Recognize and use the keywords. You have just, already, yet, later, how, long, every, sorry, ever, never, for, recently and since. Let's start to know in which place should I put each keyword, what it means. So let's check them together. For the first keyword, just and already. Used in the statement and written between have and has and the past participle of the verb. Okay, before I complete, your main rule in the present perfect tense is you start with your personal pronoun, I, he, she, whatever. Okay, so with I, they, we, you, you put have. With he, she, it, you put has. Plus the keyword, plus the present, sorry, the past participle of the verb. The third condition of the verb, the past participle. So here we have just and already you put it between have or has and the past participle of the verb, as in the example shown in front of you. I have just seen my friend Lily, or she has already met her friends. Then I have the keyword every. Used in questions and written between have and has and the past participle of the verb. So the keyword every only comes with the question form, as in the example shown in front of you. Have you ever been to China? For the next slide. Again, for the keyword never. The keyword never, we already know that this keyword means negative. I don't need to put not with it. It's already a negative keyword. 
So never used in a negative statement and written also between have or has and the past participle of the verb as the example shown in front of you. Ahmed has never read the novel before. For the next one, how long and for sure we all know how long is a question form. How long used in question and written at the beginning. It's a question. How long has my stayed in the house? And you end with a question mark. Then the keyword recently and lately. Used in statement and written at the end. You write it at the end of the sentence. They haven't visited us recently. So the location of your keyword in the statement is very important in this tense. So I need you to study them hard. Then I have the keyword yet. Yet it's a negative, okay? Used in negative and in question and written at the end of the statement. Like in the example here, I haven't seen Ali yet. So I end this, the negative sentence with it. I haven't seen Ali yet. For the next slide, the most important two keywords. They are easy if you understand them. You have since and you have for. Since I use it for a specific time. I know this time. I know the timing of this event. But for I'm not sure, maybe one year, two years, three years, I'm not sure. But if I told you since, uh, sorry, if I told you 2018, I know the specific date, so I will use since. But if I told you from um, two years ago, I don't know quite sure, so I will use for. So let's check them in the presentation again. Since used before a specific time in the past since 2016 so since i put after it a specific date i know the date i haven't seen maya since april 2015 but for i just use a period of time in the past i'm not quite sure of the year but i know it's maybe the range of the year so four or five years four plus a period of time so since is a specific of time for just a period of time. I'm not sure of it. So I haven't seen Maya for five years. Again, I will repeat again. In this tense, it's very important to know the location of the key word and when to use it and how to use it. So you must study it hard years. Okay, for the next slide, your form, the original form that I just explained it before, the affirmative form, the original form, if you have I, we, you, they, plus have, plus the past participle of the verb, it's crystal clear. I have just finished my homework. And don't forget, there are an irregular verbs in the past participle, and I hope you understand them and study it well. Then, if I have he, she, it, I will put has, plus the past participle also of the verb, Sarah has already finished her homework. For the negative form, and I said in other videos, negative means I add not to the verb, so we haven't seen our teacher yet, so I put not with have or has. So, in the case of have, example, we haven't seen our teacher yet, in the case of he or she or it plus has, I will put not after has, then the past participle of the verb. She hasn't gone to the place before. The next slide, the interrogative, and it means the question form for the yes or no question. I will just crisscross the sentence. I will start with have or has, and then the pronoun, then the past participle of the verb. Has she cooked food? Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. For the WH question, I will start with the WH question, then have or has, then the pronoun, then the past participle of the verb too. As the example shown in front of you, where have you been for two years? I have been in Greece. And sure, don't forget, in the question, you end with a question mark. In the sentence, you must end it with a full stop. Again, the next slide is 
and B. It's just an important idea I want to give you. Have you ever been to? When I say this, it means going to a place and coming back. Okay. Uh, the next slide, the next sentence. Have you gone to going and staying there? Then study the past participle of the irregular verbs that I just asked you in your booklet very hard. For example, here the present tense, then the past tense, then the past participle. Begin, began, begun. Drink, drank, drunk. Drive, drove, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Okay, eaten, sorry. So I use the third part. I use the past participle of the verb. The next slide is the exercise slide. Choose the correct answer. Number one, Sarah isn't here. She went or has gone or have gone or gone to her friend. So just went. Number two, playing tennis yet. So have you finished playing tennis yet? That's the correct one. Dad bought a new pair of shoes yesterday at the mall. So yesterday is a key word of the past participle, sorry, of the present perfect tense. No, it's just the past tense, a regular past. So I will write boat. Then my friend to France before. So has never gone or is never going or went or gone. So it will be has never gone. Number five, Sally does or do or did or has done all her homework last weekend. Last weekend is a keyword of the past, so Sally did. The next slide, please. I began taking computer lesson eight months ago. I want to put four. Four is a keyword of the present perfect, so I will change it. I've. It means I have begun. I put the verb in the third form or in the past participle form. I've gone, uh, begun taking computer lesson for eight months. The second one, Alia visited Cairo in February. Specific time, so I will use since. So Alia hasn't visited Cairo since February. Number three, David has been to Japan before already. So I will use David has already been to Japan. Then number four, that's why I told you that the location of the key word in the sentence is a very important one. Number four, Basim saw that film last yesterday. So I won't say recently and I put it at the end of the sentence. So Basim has seen that film recently. <coughs> Sorry, number five. She didn't bake the cake yesterday. I want to put yet and yet is a present perfect. So she hasn't baked the cake yesterday yet. Okay. That was for the exercise time. Thank you for your time. I hope you understand the lesson well. To see you next lesson. Bye-bye.